Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our API testing series, today we are going to see how we can set up certain headers or certain parameters into our pre-request tab if that is repeating across all the requests of your collection. For an example, if you see this header authorization bearer token, right, that I'm pretty much using in every particular request here. You can see that the authorization is common here. Now I'm repeating that, right? Is there any way where I can just set it as once and that will be applicable for all these requests? Yes, there is a way. Like if you go to this collection, right? You can see there is a pre-request script here. Now, if I add certain logic here, right? To add that particular authorization, then I don't need actually to add all these things here. Let me show you that. Now, what I can do, I can write a basic script. Now, by using the PM dot, this is basically I'm sending to a request, right? These headers. Now, here I can say headers. Okay, you can see there are a lot of options are there. If I just click on this, you can see you can send the authorization, you can add the query param if that is applicable for all your collections. Uh, you can see a lot of options are there. In that, I'm trying to send the header actually here, the headers part. And now this headers will have actually one method called as add actually here. Now when I do this right now, this will allow me to add an item. You can see here that item I will be sending as a key value pair. So simply I will say that key it's a JSON format, right? So I will be saying that that is authorization, right? So I'll say authorization here, authorization. Okay, and then I will put a comma and then I will say value to colon. Now, what is this value? So this value is a bearer, that string space the token, right? Like if you see that this is the token actually it is coming. Now from where this token is coming, it's a variable, right? And because it is using across the collection, obviously it will be a collection variable. Now I'm going to the collection and going to this and here you can see the token is added here. Now I need to read this token actually into this prerequisite script. Not an issue. For that, let me go to the top here. I will say where and then I will say bearer equal to some variable I'm taking. And here I will say this static uh, bearer, right? This is the spelling. And then I will say, and there is a space, and then I will say plus, and I need to call that collection variable right so there is a way collection variables dot get and when I say this now I can access any kind of variable from that collection so my variable is token actually here now I'm taking that token and appending with this bearer space that whatever that string is coming now in this value right now I can simply use this bearer okay like if it is confusing probably I can do like this and this bearer token, I can simply use it. Now, because it is a variable, I should not be putting it inside a double quote because if I'm putting inside a double quote, it will become a static string rather than a variable, right? So this is what I'm trying to do here. Now, when I'm doing this pre-request script, right? And when I run this collection, that time actually this particular code will be running first actually, or this script will run fast. So it means that I can now remove this authorization from all of this. Okay, there are some more uh, like you can see some uh, hidden headers are there, which is very, what do you call common actually it added automatically, but let's say that you want to add another particular header actually, no need to worry, you can write again the same statement pm dot request dot headers. And then here you can say add and this method will have another one. Let's say that the key is accept another header I'm adding here and the value will be, let's say that I'm saying application JSON. Application slash JSON. I'm just doing that. So like this, you can add multiple headers actually here like this. So, 
now whatever i'm adding here this will be applicable for all of this particular what do you call scripts actually or the individual request and this will be only run when you run the collection wise so now let me run this and let's try to see that if it is working fine or not so let me go to this collection three dots you can click on this and you can see there is a run collection let me click on that and you can see all these four requests in that collection has been chosen i just want to take one iteration and run locally and run this particular collection okay so as you can see there are a couple of errors are coming so this is not because of that particular header or whatever changes we have done if you see that there is a assertion error it is coming now what it is doing is that i am expecting actually that should finish below 900 millisecond actually there if you go here i have given a test actually here you can see i will simply do this as 1200 and let's see what other error it came I'll go to the runs and here you can see all the runs that has happened. Now I'll go to these details. Now I kept it as more than 900. So because normally it is taking 1056, right? I given 1200 millisecond. So it should work. Now my post call, put call, everything is working. Now in the delete call also working. It's just this get call of one test case got failed. Now I just edited that to have more millisecond as the time actually here. The expect response time, it should work now. So let me just go here and run this collection. And it should pass all the test cases. And you can see there is no issue now. Everything is green here, you can see. So that is how you can set up a pre-request script. Now, sometimes let's say I want to run individual collection and I want to change a little bit actually these things. No need to worry about that. You can even see there is an option here, pre-request. If you want to overwrite, let's say these are the common that you have put it, let's say three different requests need these kind of details but this get call need a different way actually no need to worry about that you can simply like for the time being let's say that i want to have a different header actually here instead of this let's say i want to take the application xml only for this particular request only so i can override that whatever i'm doing here right i can override to this pre-request uh, pre-request of this particular request not at at the collection level even sometimes like let's say that it is the same uh, key that i want to update something now here i'm updating something right to an existing key so for that you can use add or there is another option you can even offset actually you can do that offset basically what it does if there is no key like this it will add newly if there is already a key value pair that i have added right it will simply update for this particular request actually here so that is how you can do even i can remove let's say that i don't want this particular key except key for my particular this request only so what i can do i can simply copy this i can i can paste it and i can do a remove actually here and in this case i will say that i want to simply remove this and i think i don't need this one i will simply keep this actually here as a single element only right like this i can do now this one i can comment it for now so like this two different ways that you can deal with it for the individual request level actually there i'll show you the uh what you call that particular documentation into the postman where i have referred this so let me copy it and uh, open it uh, here here you can see key value pair you can add it in any script tab actually there you can remove also something actually here you can see whatever that name that uh, string format that you can give just now i have given this right you can see that in the string format i have given now you, even you can use the absurd command also you can see so here you can see that that key value pair now the description if you see that it says insert the specified header name and value if the header doesn't exist if it will add it otherwise it will update to the existing header with a new value whichever these things i just given here so three methods that we learned one is add to add any new entry absurd to update anything remove if you want to 
remove anything in any one of these requests. But our main idea was to showcase anything that is repeating in all of your four different requests or into the collection, right? You can deal with that into this. So it's not just the header actually that I can say you can add anything there. Like think about you want to do some kind of testing actually like which is common for all this uh, what do you call uh, commonly it is used in all of this particular request so you can even do into the test tab as well which is commonly used you can do some verification let's say you want to verify a certain value in all of these four requests so you can simply put a script here now whenever you run this collection right pre-request script will run before all of these collections are run or before each of these requests is run. So that was pretty much it for today's session to understand how we can utilize the collection level pre-request script. Hope this session is helpful. So stay tuned and do subscribe to this YouTube channel. We will be seeing some more interesting topics in our upcoming sessions. Thank you for watching.